What's up Nail Fiends? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day number 7 of my 12 days of Christmas series. So in today's video we are right back at it with some more nail art and I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created this set of peppermint swirl inspired nail art complete with some snowflakes, lots of glitter and some icicles. So if you guys would like to see how I completed this look then just keep on watching. So moving on with this festive set of nail guys and I'm just showing you here that I've already applied my thin clear base. I have gone ahead and filed and buffed the surface and I'm now going in with my base layer of acrylic. So I'm starting with my middle finger which is the French tip nail and I'm going to be using um, Nailmates acrylic in warm beige for my nail bed area and I'm basically just taking small beads of this, placing them on the nail and then gently tapping them in to a sort of like oval shape at the bottom and then I also go in with my cuticle bead which is slightly drier just so I could tuck that into the back of the cuticle area and then drag the remainder down to form those walls that I'm going to be buttoning the rest of my look against. And then I basically just go ahead and use the body of my brush to tap that into place, being sure that I am avoiding the cuticle area, tidying up the side walls, and then if I feel like I need to go in with a little bit extra, which I usually do at the side wall bits, I go in, again, the, be the bead sorry, is slightly wetter, just so I could go ahead and mould that into the position that I want, and then I will use my brush with some monomer on it, just to tidy that up again, to drag it back in so everything is nice and flush. So moving on with the pinky, this one super super simple, I am just going in with a full cover white nail. I didn't have the white from the Nailmate system so I'm actually using this one here called Whip Cream from Team Gorgeous. I absolutely love this white, super super pigmented and very easy to work with as you can see here. So I basically started at the middle point of the nail, just where that stress area is and then I will go ahead and slightly feather that up towards the cuticle and then drag the remainder of the product down the tip of the nail. I am basically just using this as like a polish, like as a like a coat of colour, simply because I am going to be going in with glitters and stuff later on and I don't want the nails to be overly bulky. So you can see here that I am finally finishing off with my cuticle bead and again just dragging that down to the um, like the middle point of the nail so that is where most of the bulk is. And then the next nails that I'm going to be using, Red Velvet, which is also part of the Nailmate range. So this one is very new to me. I hadn't used it before, but guys, it was freaking ace to work with. It is one of those red acrylics that are so pigmented that you literally only need a tiny little bit and you paint it on the nail as opposed to like patting it on the nail and then dragging it down the nail as you usually would with acrylic. With this, I found it really pigmented and all I had to do was literally use my brush to sort of like paint it on. And when you get to the cuticle area, you do want to remember to be careful not to allow that bead to be too wet because it could easily like sink into the cuticles, which would be a nightmare to remove. So if you can get it as close as you possibly can, like you see here, and just brush the excess down as opposed to patting it, I really found it so much easier to work with and it gave the nail perfect coverage. And for the thumbnail, I also went ahead and used this colour as well. I absolutely freaking loved it, guys. It was literally the most Christmassy red, but one of those reds that could be used all the time. Like a real true classic. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, basically I did a full coat of red on this nail and also the thumb.
And here is what the nails look like once I've applied my base layer to all of the nails. Ignore the ring finger. I was going to be doing a colour block nail at first, but changed my mind later on. So that was just part of it then. So yeah, it isn't going to be there in a little while. So just ignore that part. So now for the thumb guys, I first went in with some of Glitter Planet UK's Glitter in Lace, which is a beautiful chunky white one. Um, and then I realised that I completely went out of shot, so I just left out that part of the video because it is pretty self-explanatory. But I'm now going in to encapsulate that glitter because this nail is going to have a little bit of bling and stuff like that on it. So I just basically wanted that layer to be fully sealed, so I'm doing that using Nailmates Clear Acrylic Powder. So for the actual nail art for this nail, I wanted to keep it quite simple but a little bit blingy. So I started with creating some little snowflakes using a nail mould that I got from Glitter Planet UK and also that whipped cream acrylic powder that I used at the beginning. And then I left them to completely settle and I'm now going to go ahead and attach these to the nail. And basically I'm just, there's three of them and I'm just going ahead and seeing what looks best where and whatever. And then when I was happy with that I fully cured them into the nail so once those nails were fully dry and those snowflakes were secured to my nail I wanted to add a little bit of bling so I went in with this Swarovski Crystal Pixie in cute mood and I'm basically just dipping my little crystal katana tool type thing into that little lid and picking up some of them and just popping them onto the wet gel that I just added and then I will again fully cure that nail So now guys, we move back on to the ring finger and as you can see, I've gone ahead and refined and shaped my nail bed area. So I'm now going in to do a swirly marble design on the tip of this nail. Again, I am using red velvet from Nailmate and whipped cream from Team Gorgeous. And I'm basically going in with small beads of each of those colours and creating my marble effect. You will notice that... Um, basically as i'm going along um i'm trying my hardest to not get the colors to bleed into each other too much because then it will just sort of go like a pinky sort of color so i'm trying to make sure that i'm using the tip of my brush and just dragging that product where it is adding more product where it is necessary and really not doing much with it at all if that makes any sense once i get it into the shape that i want then i will move along and the great thing about this is you could add more product as you're going along. So if you feel like you haven't added enough of a certain colour in one area, you could always go in and add a tiny bit more. And I really loved how this tip turned out and I thought it really complemented the rest of that sort of like swirly type look that I was going for. So as you can see guys, I have gone ahead and basically laid the foundation of my marble nail onto that tip and I'm now going to start working on the side walls. So I go in first with the darkest colour which was obviously the red and I push that right up to those side walls making sure I have full contact with that nail bed area and then again I will go in with a little bit of that white and I will slightly marble them together. It doesn't have to be the most perfect marble but I just feel like if you have a little bit of each colour right up in those side walls as well it just makes the whole design look so much nicer. And then once again to finish off this part of the design I'm going in to fully encapsulate that nail tip to protect the colours that I've just added and I'm once again using the clear acrylic powder from um, Nailmate. So now guys we are moving on with the ring finger which I must admit is absolutely my favourite from this whole set. Basically what I'm doing here is just adding a base. I am using the clear acrylic powder that I've been using throughout this video to apply a thin coat to that nail. And then onto that wet acrylic I'm going in with some of this glitter which is called lace from Glitter Planet. Yeah, from Glitter Planet it is. Um, so I'm just applying a little bit of this to the full nail also. 
Next I'm going in with one of these large white snowflakes and I first bend it with the, my fingers and then I go in with a little bag just to hold in that snowflake so it fully forms around the shape of my nail and then when I encapsulate it I don't have to worry about filing it away. So now I'm going in with some glitters. I have chosen a couple of different ones here. This one is um, from NTS. I haven't used it before but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm basically just applying little bits of this throughout the whole entire nail and I'm also dipping in to the pink lemonade shards from Glitter Planet UK as well which I thought really really complemented the red look of this design. So as you can see guys, I've already gone ahead and laid down the red glitter and this is the pink lemonade shards from Glitter Planet UK. I'm using small beads of wet acrylic to pick them up and then I'm just dispersing them over the nail evenly so it gives it a really nice sort of shift from the red glitters. And then once again to finish off this nail, I am just going to go ahead and use my clear acrylic powder to fully encapsulate my design, making sure I have encapsulated absolutely all of that glitter, just so when I'm going in to file, none of it is removed. So once I had gone ahead and finished encapsulating all of those nails, I am now going to go ahead and start adding a little bit of glitter to the pinky nail. So I am basically just mixing the two glitters that I have used on the previous nail and I am adding this to the whole nail but I don't want it to be fully opaque. I do want some of that white to show through as well. Then once again, once I had left that glitter to settle in and stick on the nail, I am going in to fully encapsulate that nail once again with my clear acrylic. Then back to the pointer finger, this one is looking a little bare and needs some festivity on it. So I'm first going in to encapsulate that red acrylic powder with some clear acrylic here. So I'm basically just doing a really thin bead of this. I don't want it to be overly bulky but I do want to make sure that I am forming the apex here because I won't be adding any more acrylic later on and I don't want the structure of these nails to basically break down. So I am building strength but still keeping it as a thin enhancement. So for the actual nail art for this nail guys, it's again super super simple, I'm just basically doing a candy cane style. So I've got some white gel paint here from Ink London which is their no white version and I'm also using my Rubilov striping brush and I'm basically just mapping out where I want the big thicker lines to be. So I'm going to do four lines going to right down that nail and then I will fill in that lines to create my two thicker lines and right at the cuticle area I will add another line and then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, tidy up those lines and then just fill them in. So guys, once I had created the thicker stripes, I'm now going in with my detail brush here to create thinner lines in between each of those thicker ones. So 
So once I had um, fully cured that nail, I went ahead and wiped down my nails with a nail cleanser just to remove any excess dust or whatever. And I'm now going in to top coat the nail. I'm using Nailmate's um, High Shine Gloss Top Coat and I'm applying a thin layer of this to all of the nails. So now guys we're moving on to the nail art for the middle finger which is going to be a sort of like icicle design. So I'm first starting with a really tiny detail brush and I'm just using my white gel paint to outline the basically where the nail bed area is. And then once I have got the basic shape that I wanted, I'm going to go in and start making that line slightly thicker before I start building on the icicles. So for the icicles, I'm actually starting at the middle point, right where the tip of that nail bed is. And I'm basically just going to go ahead and draw a really tiny line sort of more of like a squiggle thicker at the top thinner at the bottom and then i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process going right around that french tip nail And then once I'm happy with all of those little icicles, I'm then going in and add in a little bit of dimension to the French tip nail so it looks more like a snowfall as opposed to like really crisp lines. And then for a little added touch, before I cured that nail, I am going to be adding some Glitter Arty Nails Glare Flare Powder right over this whole nail, just tapping off any excess and then I will double cure that, brush off the excess and this is what my Icicle French Tip Nail looks like. So guys, I went ahead and just washed my hands off camera. I'm now going in with some of this lemongrass cuticle oil, also from Glitter Planet. And I'm just basically working this into the skin. And I must admit, I wasn't actually sure I was going to like the scent of the lemongrass. But guys, it smells so bloody beautiful. And finally guys, that is us reached the end of today's video and I really hope you enjoyed my take on these peppermint swirl nails. I had so much fun doing these for you guys. They were super simple but I actually think they're so eye-catching and perfect for Christmas. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's instalment of the 12 Days of Christmas series and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it and if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime I upload a new video and if you guys don't mind please don't forget to give this video a little like and a share it helps greatly with my channel and your support means the world to me and as always to finish off to my lovely returning subscribers you guys know the drill I love you so much thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one bye